What's going on guys, welcome back to another play review, we are going to be looking at Inform Jovetic and he looks completely insane and so many people recommended me the non-Inform because I've never tried him, but now I've tried the Inform and I had to say a lot about this guy, so if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coins, check out battle.com, the link will be in the description and use the code Itani to get 5% off, or if you want PSN cards or Microsoft points, check the link also in the description below. Now, Inform Jovetic, he is expensive for the time being, but he is going to become cheaper by the end of the week. He's currently going for around 500 to 600k, so very expensive. But anyway, let's get down to business. He has very good pace. I felt he was faster than what his, his stats were showing, but that could come down to his agility and his amazing dribbling. This guy is one of the best dribblers I have ever tried and I would definitely recommend if you want to use him make sure you don't run that often with him because he's just so much better when you're just walking and getting past defenders by just dribbling past them he's just so easy to get out of tight corners as well really really awesome when you're marked by two defenders easily can get out of that with Jovetic. Very good finish in the penalty area. You'll see a couple of nice goals inside the penalty area with 4-star weak foot and 4-star skills making him even better. But one big surprise for me is how good his heading was. I mean I've crossed it a couple of times and he scored nearly every single cross. I just for some reason didn't expect this guy to be this good at heading and trust me he is really good. Even You could probably even use him as a target man. With his positioning I had no problems. He was always in position even though he has medium defensive work rate I thought he was always in position for the counter attack and always there when I wanted to cross it um, agility is the biggest thing that is gonna help you when you're dribbling with this guy he has really high agility and when it comes down to shooting it really helps with his pace and how fast he's running and then you take the shot but not only that, sometimes I would take very powerful shots with him just standing still. You'll see a couple in the video, him just standing completely still. And he takes an amazing and very powerful shot every single time. And the goalkeeper is forced to get out for a corner. Um, that is all there is to it, basically. Very good shooting from long distance and short. So awesome long shots. You could definitely score them. And I scored a free kick with him. I had two chances, uh, two free kicks. And as you guys know, you could barely ever get free kicks in this game. And one hit the crossbar and the other one went in. So overall, this guy is basically a complete package for a striker. And if you're still questioning that he might be weak, so you shouldn't buy him, trust me, he is not weak. This guy, you look at his balance, it's not that good. But when you play with him on the pitch, damn, this guy is quite strong. And the ball sticks to his feet like a magnet. It. I think it's ball, his ball control that makes him feel so strong. Make sure you get him because he is basically perfect for anyone that has a Premier League team. And if you're awesome at dribbling or skilling, this is the man for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like. Let me know what other players you want me to review from this team of the week. And I hope you guys have a very nice day.